Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yolendo TV. I hope you well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, for those of you who have been following the Senate proceedings, you realize that the two lawyers representing <coughs> Rigadi Gachagua's side, of course, uh, we know that Paul Mute is the lead lawyer, lead senior counsel. Now, there's a battery of lawyers there whom he actually is leading. Now, the side of the National Assembly also has lawyers. Now, one of the lawyers representing the National Assembly is James Orenko. Now, talking about James Orenko, there was a scenario in the Senate where Degonjiru and Senior Counsel Paul Muite objected the inclusion of Senior Counsel James Orenko. Uh, my name is Degonjiru, uh, Senior Counsel Paul Muite did raise an issue. Mr. Speaker, sir, we are raising an objection to the appearance of, senior, of my senior advocate, legal counsel, James Orengo. So the big question, ladies and gentlemen, is why were they objecting? Is it that they fear that if Orengo was in, introduced in this legal battle, then they didn't stand a chance? So I saw a response from lawyer Eric Gumbo regarding this matter. This matter took most of the time in the Senate with specific references being given to form to previous cases. This particular scenario, I don't know why Ndegwa Jiru and Senior Counsel Paul, Paul Mwete were afraid of having James Orengo in the team of the National Assembly. Of course, it's, it all boils down to the issue of... Uh, experience. I think that is what it really means, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to take you to those two scenarios where Ndegwa Jiru is defending the move by the faction of Rigadi uh, Gachagua to reject the inclusion of James Orenko. And lawyer Eric Gumbo, being, uh, being one of those lawyers representing the National Assembly, is objecting this objection by Ndegwanjiru. <laughs> so before you get further, please like this video. It's so important if you like this video. I'm so grateful for everyone who has been liking our videos. I don't take that for granted. Subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed before and to existing subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. One thing that I managed to point out throughout uh, that session was that it appeared as if Orengo was a major threat to the team to the legal team of Rigadi Gachagu. And this is already pointed to something that I, I was told by someone, a concerned person. A concerned person told me, or rather, let me just say, a concerned citizen. So one concerned citizen told me that it's it, it could be possible that the, the, the lawyers representing Rigadi Gachagu are not telling Rigadi Gachagu the truth. So what they are doing is to, is to simply milk uh, Rigadi Gachagua's money. They're simply taking Rigadi Gachagua's money and not giving him the correct advice. That if at all they had given Rigadi Gachagua the correct advice, Rigadi wouldn't have, you know, had a, a, gone to the courts to seek for, you know, some legal redress, wouldn't have gone to the courts to probably do like things like uh, petitions, because those have wasted his money. And those have wasted his money in terms of uh, paying this legal team. You know, there's a legal fees must be paid. And then there's application fees for those petitions. So, either way, regarding the amenda, Sarah. Mr. Speaker, sir, our objection is in line with the conduct of this house and the records bears as witness. That we also have... Um, We'll also be relying on an authority in our objection. Mr. Speaker, sir, we are raising an objection to the appearance of, senior, of my senior advocate, legal counsel, James Orengo, to represent the National Assembly in these proceedings. And this is the basis of our objection briefly, that my learned friend, senior James Orengo, is a full-time serving state officer as per Article 260 of the Constitution, as read together with Section 26, Subsection 2 of the Leadership and Integrity Act. 
So this scenario in the Senate where <clears throat> Dego Jiru was keenly uh, trying to oppose the inclusion of James Orengo was already pointing to a legal team that was seeing danger at the end of the tunnel. Because personally, if Ndegu Njiru and Paul Muito had something to execute that is tangible, there was no uh, reason for them to, you know, like, to be to, to be afraid of having James Orengo in the team. That where he has said... Because you have the facts. Does it mean that the fact that Ndegu Njiru was uh, that opposing could simply mean that maybe these evidences that they say they have are not legit evidences. What could be the reason why, ladies and gentlemen? I was looking at this matter from a different uh, perspective. Because when you look at it from the other side of the coin, then you can say that wameanza uh, kuogopa na regadhi kachago mwenye wanekani kama anaogopa. So the lawyers tayari wameona wanaogopa, maybe yata even in the Senate wata fail. Remember, they are failing all the petitions. The petitions were 24. Then they were merged. So all these petitions, they have failed. But one of the requests they made of a three-by judge bench sailed through. But some of these petitions were failed. So I think, personally, from my own point of view, based on what I see, and based on the reaction from Dengu and Paul Muite, is that most likely they know that James Orengo at our shindalab, like at Kaui Kesi, na James Orenga kia kwa Kaui Kesi, ni kwamba wow, maybe hawata kuwa na chance. Labda kuna uo, uo, uo ge kwamba hawata kuwa na chance, zuri ya kuji defend, because James Orenga ni mtu ambaye, ana uzoefu sana mahakma, ana uzoefu na mahakma, ana uzoefu na senate. You know? So ana uzoefu na mabomengi, domana maybe ndegu wa jiru, amona kwamba senior counsel, James Orenga is not his match. Honorable Orengo holds an elective position. Elected members of Senate are politicians. The provisions of Section 23 do not apply uh, to them. So even if it was to be assumed that, the, uh, that by representing the third respondent, Honorable Orengo is pursuing a political agenda, that would not be inimical to his office as a member of the Senate. And so, Mr. Speaker, I submit that unless there is material that will be tabled before this House, that by appearing for a party before this House, then the Honorable uh, Mr. James Orengo, Senior Counsel, would have engaged in, uh, in, in uh, gainful employment. That objection does not stand any merit. Number two, the second test that has been applied by courts is the test around conflict of interest. Again, Mr. Speaker, the, our courts have had occasion to interpret what amounts to conflict of interest. In a case determined by a five-judge bench, a case uh, reported in our laws, that is EKLR 2018, the case of Philomena Mbetemwilu versus the DPP and two, uh, two others, the bench in determining and dismissing a similar application, defined conflict of interest as a situation where one is confronted by two different interests so that serving one interest would be against the other. Mr. Speaker, sir, there hasn't been any conflict of interest that has been, even in the least, mentioned by uh, the, uh, the objector to the participation of uh, senior counsel, the Honorable uh, James Orengo. I wanted to go below in the comment section, you can offer a reaction on this, because looking at what is going on, of course, Rigadi Gachagua has not pleaded guilty to all those accusations. So perhaps if you're watching this video and you've not subscribed, take one second and subscribe, like this video, till you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.